I think you could characterize our operating uh, model as uh, stubbornness and stupidity. We were too stubborn to quit. Now we're making more audio cassettes than we've ever made. And that's something to say in 2015. National Audio Company began strictly as a blank medium supplier. It wasn't until late in the 1990s and the early 2000s when many of the other large duplicators decided to go into CD replication that we realized the audio cassette wasn't done. We're not in the music market when that happened. We were not hurt by it. Our spoken word customers, our blank tape customers went right on. That was the floor under us. That's the beginning of our buying out our competitors collecting all of their equipment, restoring it to new condition, and preparing ourselves to pick the music market up when it came back. That's exactly what's happened. The best part of working with Steve is he is the king of analog. That man knows audio cassettes. We intend to be the last cassette company operating, and right now we are the last cassette company operating. This is audio cassette duplication. These are electrosound slaves built in the 1970s. Duplication is putting the sound on the tape. While the tape is being duplicated, the shells set up and they're imprinted, and the shells and the duplicated tape meet at the loading machines. This is our cassette loading department. These machines take the tubs of tape and load them into the audio cassette. And each machine may make 2,000 or more cassettes in a day. The part of the machine you see here was built as a cigarette wrapper in 1938. It marries a 1938 mechanical machine with a microprocessor. Another secret to success at National Audio. My job is to keep these running to the best of my ability, which is always a challenge when you're dealing with orphans. The companies are long gone. We have uh, 40 or 50 more of the duplicator slaves from which we use uh, parts when we need them. I'm working to train someone else how to do this stuff, but to try and find someone that actually understands tuning up of a magnetic tape recorder is getting really difficult. Probably the thing that has really enlarged our business at a faster pace than anything is the return of music to audio cassettes, the retro movement. There's the nostalgia of holding the audio cassette in your hand. We have an amazing clientele. We have a lot of small bands. We did the Guardians of the Galaxy cassette from the movie soundtrack. Here is the Metallica tape that we did. There is the under 35 age group who have learned now life is not comprised of MP3s and earbuds. They like the sound of analog and that has really helped us a lot. There was a drive from the independent bands to get that warm analog sound again. And it just continued to grow and grow. I do not own an iPod or an MP3 player and I have a flip cover cell phone. My wife calls me a Neanderthal. <laughs>